、いい正解。Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage, Chapter 106, Separation of Family. Regarding the case in the Ding capital where Shen Yuan mistakenly killed Sun Kai Nan, the case was trialed in the most vigorous and fast manner never seen before. First, it was Sun Yan Zheng who submitted a report in court, requesting for Shen Yuan to pay a debt of blood with blood, and if it was not done, then he would be forced to retire due to his old age. Practically threatening Emperor Wen Hua that he would quit his job and responsibilities. As compared to Shen Gui, the Minister of Personnel was clearly more important, and Sun Yan Zheng had already been in the position for many years and developed a network of connections. But if there was a sudden change of person, then one fear that there will be chaos. Emperor Wen Hua naturally had to appease Sun Yan Zheng. Secondly, how would the censors, who usually point out the officials' mistakes, Let go of a manslaughter case. Taking into consideration that Sun Yan Zheng had already lost a son and it would be difficult to talk about it, the censors focused their impeachment on Shen Gui. The most surprising thing was Shen Gui's attitude. He knelt in front of Emperor Wen Hu and guaranteed with tears and snoot that this matter was due to his failure to educate his son and was willing to place righteousness before family. And let Shen Yu on pay a life with a life. When those words were reported, they stunned all the civil and military officials in court. Even though those words seemed to be strictly impartial and incorruptible, he actually did not argue that his son did not start at first, but promised straightforwardly to pay a life with another life, which was just inhuman. Shen Gui was indeed smooth and slick in establishing social relations, but even a tiger, though cruel, Would not devour its cubs. This move made those colleagues who usually had good relations with him to remain at a respectful distance from now on. The ministers stood at the side of Sun Yan Zheng in succession, and when Emperor Wen Hu asked the prince's opinions, all nine princes invariably stood with Sun Yan Zheng. Even if one did not show one's attitude, almost everyone knew where the case was heading towards. Shen Yuan's beheading order was to be carried out three days later. This was most likely the fastest beheading order in Ming Chi's history, and there was practically no way to reverse the verdict or resist it. It was just a direct conviction. Even though there was the factor of the Sun family pushing the wave and adding to the billows, the Shen family's inaction was the biggest reason. Even if other people were secretly pushing, it would not have mattered. In the dark prison, Shen Yuan sat in the innermost cell. His hair was disheveled and he had not washed for a few days, that now there was a sour smell coming out from him. His usually calm appearance now looked a little frantic and was covering up some brief sense of despair. Someone sneaked in yesterday night and fed him mute medication so now he could not even speak. Shen Yuan himself knew who was the one that did that. And who possessed those remarkable abilities that one even dared to break into prison? Fu Zayu Yi would not come to save him. Initially, he still had a little strain of hope, but after carefully thinking it through, he then knew that it would more harmful than helpful for Fu Zayu Yi to save him. That man was an expert in avoiding trouble, so he would definitely not take this risk. On the contrary, Shen Yuan's existence to Fu Zayu Yi had already become a chess piece that did not know its place. So naturally, Fu Zayu Yi would eradicate without any mercy. By feeding him a mute medication might not necessarily mean that one did not want to kill him, but with Fu Zayu Yi's cautious nature, most probably one fear that it might be suspicious if he died in the prison. A bitter smile slowly appeared on Shen Yuan's lips. If successful, one was called a king, and if defeated, one was called a bandit. He had known what kind of person Fu Zayu Yi was at the beginning. When one work under Fu Zayu Yi, one must already be prepared that there was a possibility that one's ending was as such. But he did not expect that the ending arrived so quickly. There seemed to sound some footsteps in the darkness, and those footsteps were rather slow and sounded different from the warden's. When he looked up towards the footsteps, he could only see a purple dress coming closer under the dim torch. Walking forward, the young female had a delicate appearance and gave him a gentle smile as she looked at him. Second older brother Shen Yuan's heart clogged up in the twinkling of an eye when he saw Shen Miao. A strong hatred and an unresigned feeling bursted out from his heart, 
making Shen Yuan want to kill Shen Miao at that every moment. Even if one did not understand how things turned out to this point, one thing that Shen Yuan was very clear about, was that Shen Miao was definitely involved in it. Shen Miao slowly squatted down and looked at Shen Yuan at the same eye level. She smiled. Second older brother must definitely not be living well inside here. Second Shen has gone crazy. Second Shu is not willing to come and see you. Seventh younger brother is still young and under the care of old Shen Furen. And speaking of which, old Furen is the one that doted on you the most. But she gave an order yesterday that no one is allowed to mention your name in the residence. So it seemed that she has given up on you. After much thought, since we are siblings, I have come to send you on your way. Shen Yuan was gnashing his teeth as he looked at Shen Miao. Words could kill and could destroy a person's faith. And currently Shen Miao did not hesitate to twist the knife in his heart. Even though Shen Yuan's feelings were thin but when one was in prison, it really made one's heart cold when no one came to visit. Old Furen previously treated him well but it was because he was talented and intelligent. But now he had become a prisoner so old Shen Furen would definitely quickly draw a line with the relationship, so that she would not get into trouble. Come to think about it, second older brother and eldest sister are truly birth siblings, to both be imprisoned. But when eldest sister was imprisoned, second Shen still ran around about it but now, there is no one doing it for you. Shen Yuan did not speak. Why is second older brother not speaking? Shen Miao tilted her head and looked at him, it is not willing to speak to me or... She suddenly smiled, one was fed with mute medication? Shen Yuan was surprised for a moment as Shen Miao could actually guess that he was fed a mute medication. Before coming out of his thoughts, what Shen Miao said next, gave him a bigger shock. Seems like Fu Ziyu Yi's methods are still the same as usually, without any difference at all. Shen Miao pondered. Shen Yuan's eyes widened as he heard Fu Ziyu Yi's name from Shen Miao's mouth. How did Shen Miao know about him working for Fu Ziyu Yi? Not to mention Shen Miao also used such a familiar tone, and from her words it was like she understood Fu Ziyu Yi very well. The surprise in Shen Yuan's heart could not be expressed in words. In the inner courtyard of the Shen residence, no matter how clever and smart Shen Miao's means were, Shen Yuan would not think too highly of her because an unmarried young lady's abilities stopped there. But when Shen Miao mentioned Fu Ziyu Yi's name, Shen Yuan could no longer continue looking with a normal heart. Second older brother need not be that surprised. Shen Miao swept a glance at him and said, Not only do I know about Fu Ziyu Yi, I even have knowledge of his plans. If you want to inform Fu Ziyu Yi about me and atone for one's crimes by such meritorious acts then it is too late. His Highness Prince Ding is prudent and since you are fed with mute medication, then no one would be sent over here. There will not be any contact or dealings with you until after you die. Since the moment you become a discarded piece. He has nothing to do with you and will not let you have any means to implicate him. Shen Yuan's heart started to beat frantically. Shen Miao's words were not wrong, Fu Ziyu Yi was that kind of person. That was why after yesterday, he was totally in despair as he waited for his death. One must not think about fighting till either the fish dies or the net splits because Fu Ziyu Yi was never the gentleman that he appeared to be. He reached his fingers out and dipped it into the water in the bowl before writing a few words on the dusty floor. What is your purpose? Shin Miao suddenly laughed out loud. When she was laughing, her eyes arched and her lips curved and suddenly it was as if she had returned back to the idiot that she was a year before, looking somewhat stupid and with a mind that was willing to accept new ideas, but was really a young lady that did not understand anything. It was still obviously the same expression but it made one's heart feel cold. It was not easy for Shen Miao to stop laughing. She looked at Shen Yuan. Cannot second older brother guess my purpose? You want to deal with the second household? Shen Yuan wrote on the ground. Not only the second household. Shen Miao's voice suddenly got softer and a little viciousness appeared. It was not possible to hold back the viciousness that even the killing intent overflowed. She said, also the third household and also old Furen, and also Prince Ding. Shen Yuan stared at her fixedly. You want to ask why? 
Shin Miao said, I am only doing and showing what all you have done previously. Just like this time, do not second older brother feel that the Jing family's matter is somewhat familiar? It is because that was originally your method. How would you be able to get out of the predicament that you created? Shen Yuan looked at Shen Miao confused as he did not understand Shen Miao's words but only felt that at the moment Shen Miao's expression was as if she had gone mad. Never mind about the hate towards the second and third households, since everyone was clear about it and only pretended to be harmonious with one another on the surface. But where did the hate towards Prince Ting came from? Merely because in the beginning one was in love with Prince Ting but did not get a response back? Second older brother. Shen Miao smiled strangely. You should thank this younger sister for having so many people accompanying you on your road to the underworld. Rest assured that after you, there would not be any other person in the second household of the Shen family that will take your position. You will definitely be the second household's unrivaled eldest D son. Shen Yuan glared at Shen Miao. Shen Miao stood up and her voice gently carried into the darkness and fell heavily into Shen Yuan's ears. The second household will be without any descendants. When one went outside, the warden naturally left with satisfaction and guaranteed that this would not be leaked to outsiders. Jings and Gu Yu helped Shen Miao into the carriage and Gu Yu asked, Young lady, is it true that second young master will be executed in three days time? Shen Miao nodded her head. It is really like a dream. Gu Yu murmured, a few days back second young master was still that arrogant but now have to give up one's life. Life should be as such. Shen Miao said coldly. After detecting that Shen Miao's mood was not very good at the moment, Jing's and Gu Yu stuck out their tongue and no longer spoke. After returning back to the Shen residence, one saw that there were a number of people gathering in the main hall. Upon a closer look, it was the Jing family. Jing Furen was making an unreasonable scene. You all return my choo-choo to me. Return my choo-choo to me. Old Shen Furen was so angry that her face was livid and directly called the servants. Still do not throw these people out. Old Furen. Jing Guansheng, who had changed from his previous refined appearance, said viciously, Our choo-choo entered your residence perfectly fine but was taken away, and now one do not know if she is dead or alive. Even if this matter is brought up to the authorities, you are still at wrong. Old Shen Furen was so angry that she cursed, still have the cheek to speak. That little slut has harmed my family to what kind of state? If she was not a bearer of ill luck then how would the Shen family be involved in a lawsuit? Old Furen do guard one's tongue? Jing Guan Shen said, at that time we did say that there must be someone behind it. My younger sister's personal maid later disappeared. Do not you think it is strange? Someone definitely bought her. The women folk were all present in the hall and Chen Rikayu looked in front with somewhat of a headache. Shen Yu was looking disgusted at the Jing family while Wo Zhu Yan had put on an attitude as if this did not concern her. Wan Yi Niang held Shen Dong Ling's hand and stood quietly at the side as she had no position to say anything. Biao older brother has dragged the topic too far. Can all the offenses be pushed to a personal maid and all the troubles can be solved? Shen Miao's voice sounded, after all the matter is about having an illicit affair with another, and a maid cannot force it out. The words of ridicule made Jing Guansheng face turn red and white. Everyone looked towards the door as Shen Miao walked in. There was never a time when old Shen Furen loved Shen Miao like today, as long one can stop the pestering and annoying Jing family. Her heart could be better handled. Luo Zhu Yan happily pulled Shen Miao over to her side. Zhao Zhao went out for so long. Are you tired? Jing Furen was still crying. You are blood relatives with father and Chu Chu also have your blood flowing in her. How could one be so cruel? Oh heavens, old Furen are you forcing us to death? It had gotten on to old Shen Furen's nerves who is blood relatives with you all. A bunch of poor family come to the capital to seek gratuitous financial support, and want to seek connections with me? Go and pour out a bag of urine to look at yourself. Really think that with just that little good looks one can do whatever one want? Really from a small family, an entire body of foul air, such a young age and already know how to seduce men. 
old Shen Furin got anxious and used cursing words that were used in a marketplace. It was so extremely vulgar that for a moment those people who heard them were shocked. After a long while, Jingguan Sheng suddenly smiled, Old Furin, you are really this ruthless? Really want to stand idly by on the matter of Chu Chu? What does Jing Chu Chu got to do with me? What a joke! Old Shen Furin did not hesitate to answer. All right. Jingguan Sheng laughed coldly and suddenly glanced at Shen Miao before saying, Since you want to destroy the bridge after crossing, then do not blame me for not having the spirit of loyalty. In the beginning you were the one who let Chu Chu climb onto Shen Kaiyu's bed, and also wanted me to think of ways to gain Shen Miao's favor. At that time you were not as ruthless as now. When those words were spoken, Everyone was startled. They were shocked that even though they had guessed there was an insider planning behind the scenes, they had never imagined that Jing Guan Sheng would say those words in front of everyone. The one who was most shocked was Luo Zhu. She looked towards Jing Guan Sheng and slowly asked, What did you say? Jing Guan Shen did not even take old Shen Furin furious face in any regard, and said as if the jar was broken. Biao Shen most likely is not aware. At the beginning when Chu Chu and me came to the Shen residence, old Furin treated us very warmly. Why was that so? She said that she loved us siblings and wished to be in-laws with the Jing family. But how could eldest Biao brother would take a fancy with our small family's Chu Chu? At that time old Furin personally expedited the drugs. One must be feeling the urgency to facilitate the marriage but did not think that at the end, it was second Biao older brother who got an advantage of. Luo Zhu Yan was so angry that she was trembling and she suddenly pulled the sword from her waist and pointed at Jing Guan Sheng's neck. Jing Guan Shen's expression changed but still forced out a smile and said, This time Biao Shen got the wrong person. We siblings know our worth and without old Furin's supervision. How do one dare to think about it? Moreover in the matter of the drugging it was old Furin who took the lead. Should not be Ao Shen blame others? Luo Zhu Yan turned her head and stared at old Shen Furin with a murderous aura. Old Shen Furin was so scared that she almost fell from her seat. Eldest family, you want to kill mother? Old Furin not only wanted Chu Chu to marry eldest be our brother, but also wanted me to gain be a younger sister's favor. Jing Guan Sheng laughed frivolously, and still said that the love between a male and female are just like this. After the raw ice was cooked, one will be wholeheartedly. Luo Zhu Yan could not carry on listening and brandished her sword on the ground. The ground was made of good quality stone but after her strike, there was actually a clear crack. Jing Furan screamed in fright and old Shen Furan's face turned white. Shen Yu and Chen Rikayu shuddered and Wan Yi Niang was surprised in her heart as she did not think that old Shen Furin would even use such a cheap method. It was not surprising for common women folk or Yi Niangs to use such methods, but old Shen Furin was a head of a family and it was simply unsightly to use such a means. Luo Zhu Yan pulled Shen Miao with one hand and pointed a sword at old Shen Furin with the other. She was really angry and a murderous air was fuming out from her head which made others believe without hesitation that she would pounce onto old Shen Furin, and cut her head off. She said, Old Furin, ever since I married into the Shen residence, I and Shen Xin have treated you with respect and deep feelings. Even though you are not his birth mother, my husband and me still respected you. But now I know that there are such things as white-eyed wolves in this world. I cannot stay any longer in this kind of Shen family. Eldest family. You must not listen to his nonsense. Old Shen Furin intentions were not dead. Are you going to be unfilial? If it is nonsense, one would know after investigating. As for bringing up unfilial, Luo Zhu Yan sneered and spoke every single word clearly. Even if this mother carry the unfilial name, I will not let my children follow such people. She pulled Shen Miao. Let us go. No matter how furious old Shen Furin was behind, how pestering the Jing family were or how Chen Rikayu would mediate, all these things were not important. When Shen Miao was pulled toward the western courtyard by Wo Zhu Yan her heart felt very carefree. This was what she wanted to achieve. Sometimes the intensity of one side of the story was not enough for one's feelings, 
not because one was unwilling to believe but because dividing a family up was not an easy thing to do. This involved a lot of entangled interests, and there was a possibility of carrying many curses or bad reputation. In order for Shenzhen to be determined to separate from the family, was not an easy thing to do. But after today, the matter of separating from the family would be much easier. At least from now onwards, Shen Xin and Luo Zuyan would no longer have a trace of mercy for old Shen Furen. This was the instinctive protection that parents have when facing people who harm one's children. When Luo Zuyan pulled Shen Miao back into the room, she first shut the doors and took a breath before smiling coldly, Your father and older brother went to the palace today and one should really let them see for themselves what kind of trash those people are. After speaking she seemed to suddenly remembered something and looked at Shen Miao before slightly apologizing, Zhao Zhao, you must be frightened. Mother was really just too angry just now. Shen Miao shook her head and looked at her, what do we do next? Mother had said those words to old Furen. one fear that old Furen will use this matter to fault mother. What is there to fear? Luo Zuyan slammed the table, wait till your father returns, we will discuss about separating from the family. Everyone in the Shen residence do not have good intentions. If this goes on, who knows what else will happen. She caressed Shen Miao's face, no wonder you wanted us to stay in the capital for half a year, is it that you already knew about it? Shen Miao smiled without saying a word and it made Luo Zuyan feel that she had guessed correctly. She got up and said, this would not do, I better go and investigate this matter. I will let the guards outside guard the courtyard doors. It is better for you not to go out. Practically treating the Shen residence as a dangerous spot where the dragon's pool and the tiger's den were. Shen Miao nodded her head and after Luo Zuyan went out, Jing's asked, young lady, is it really possible to separate from the family? Of course. Shen Miao lightly said, my mother is a person who is unable to tolerate a single sand in her eye, so naturally there is a need for separation. This is great. Jing said, after separating from the family then young lady will have more freedom to do anything and also do not need to guard against this or that. Bei Lu walked in and said to Shen Miao, young lady. Tao Yuan is already sent away and have currently arranged to be settled in a village and was given money. Shen Miao nodded her head. It was extremely easy to bribe Tao Yuan, Jing Chu Chu's personal maid. Jing Chu Chu had intended to marry Shen Yuan and then raise Tao Yuan to a Yin Yang and capture Shen Yuan's heart. But there was no possibility for that to happen because Shen Yuan was extremely disgusted to be schemed against and if Tao Yuan was really raised up to a Yi Niang, Shen Yuan would also not treat her well. But Jing Chu Chu still thought she had conferred Tao Yuan a big grace, not knowing that Tao Yuan was already bought by others. She was not willing to be a concubine and also did not want to follow a mistress like Jing Chu Chu. So Tao Yuan gambled with her life and finally got her freedom. Shen Miao did not disappoint her promise to Tao Yuan, and gave her money and protected her life. Those at the top position must know how to apply the carrot and stick judiciously toward the servants below. After today, everything would go accordingly to what she wanted to do. Gu Yu said, after second young master is beheaded. The residents would most probably calm down. To separate from the family now is most appropriate. Shen Miao smiled slightly. How could it calm down? Not speaking about the Jing family that will be left to the son Yan Zheng to settle, the second household's people were not exterminated yet. Second Shen must be very sad to hear about second older brother being beheaded. Shen Miao lightly said, Has not second Furan gone crazy? Gu Yu was surprised when she heard this, one would not have any sanity when one gone crazy. Hearing from the people in Kai Yun Yuan, Second Furan could not even recognize people so how could she know about this matter? Gone crazy? Shen Miao shook her head, that might not be necessarily so. When people was in a painful state of despair, one would use craziness to escape from the reality that one was unable to face. The most painful thing for Ren Wan Yun was nothing more than her inaction on that night in the Wo Long Temple, 
which lead Shen King to the final end one step at a time. She was unable to make any change and could only watch as Shen King died. She was unable to face the death of Shen King and was unable to face herself so she finally went crazy. Now once the message of Shen Yuan's death is sent back, Presumably she would be even more crazy because she could not help with Shen Yuan's matter at all. Actually Ren Wan Yun's crazy time span was not long. Whether she chose to continue being crazy would depend if she could gradually accept these facts. One think that in not much time Ren Wan Yun would wake up because she still had Shen Yuan Bo and would fear that Shen Yu on Bo would fall into the poisonous hands of Wan Yi Niang. Shen Miao wanted to let Ren Wan Yan wake up in advance. What she wanted to deal was never a person, but the entire bloodline of the family. After selecting the second household, how could she stop moving forward after letting the second household only lose a pair of children? What she want was, Shen Gui to be without offspring for three generations. 